Hello, today we will see how to correct a charging artifact on a dataset with the image processing toolbox. First of all, let's import our dataset with the image loader. To do that, you just need to go on the file, select import image file, and then click on the add button. Go browse until your directory and select your file. Click on next and just validate that each image parameter is right. So here's my data and if we go to each slice we can see the difference of intensity between each of them that is created by the charging even if it's the same material. To correct that let's open the image processing toolbox. Under tools select image processing toolbox. Our data set will automatically be here and just click on the high to see it. To correct this artifact we will need to use the gradient domain fusion just right there. The gradient domain fusion is a two-step filter. It's first an anisotropic smoothing and then a mapping of the eye frequency to keep the border information. To execute this filter, we'll have three parameters to set. First of all, we need to select the X and Y sigma. Uh, for this data set, one is enough. Then we'll have to set the Z sigma. It's mandatory that this sigma is higher than the x, y1. Since the artifact is uh, in z direction, what I mean by there is that for each slice we have a different intensity. Uh, it's better to have a higher sigma in that case to make sure that the artifact will be correct. Just make sure that the z is higher than the previous one. Then, finally, you will need to set the weight value. The weight value is a factor that is given to the high frequency of the input data set. Uh, for here, uh, this value is perfect, but it's important to know that the more this value decreases, the smoother will be the output. Since we only have one data, uh, the input is cell, but if you have many data set or ROI, it's very important to select the right one. Uh, here will be the name of the output, the corrected data set. Um, for now, I will just leave it like that, uh, GDF as gradient domain fusion. But uh, you can put anything that is meaningful for you. Okay, to correct um, that artifact, we can select a slice and then compute selected preview. We can see that this is right, but uh, we'll have a better sh idea uh, of the result since it's on the full stack. So let's just apply the whole thing. Okay, so at the top of uh, the object uh, property list, we can see our result with the given name that we set. Uh, to render it, we'll need to uh, select the output view, just there. Hide the preview. We can also delete the preview. And then take a look of... But let's just quit uh, image processing toolbox and analyze it on the dragonfly. To compare the result with the initial dataset, just select two scene and then on the first one we select the cell which is the original one and then select the other one and then render the cells with the drawman gradient filter. 
to have to synchronize my slice I'll just go in the scene view synchronizer and select zoom position and do the same with other view so now if I navigate to a slice to another the slice are synchronized so we can see that the filters work because we can see on the left the charging artifact and on the right the corrected one which have a better balanced intensity thank you very much for listening